And that was always a big discussion we had the last five years internally of how attractive can this e-commerce be because it's double, triple the, the work and, and then less the yield. When we talk about last mile, why is it we're not talk, talking about first mile? You brought up the example yourself about the manufacturer in Uganda. There, is, there must clearly be the same opportunity or drive focusing on first mile and not just last mile. Last, but typically on the first mile, you have the, the, the you know the deliveries happen in a consolidated fashion into one of the hubs. So it's typically a different situation than on the last mile where you really deliver and. I mean, classically on the courier business, you're coming from B2B deliveries, easy, nine to five, somebody is there, you go there. Typically, you make five deliveries in one go. So that's good and easy for us to operate. Today, I mean, we have B2C a share of more than 45%. And the, the consumer, the problem is he's working. He is uh, playing tennis. He is on the golf course. Uh, where to find him, as Peter explained. Um, so that the hassle is, is higher. And typically, then it's only one delivery, not five. Um, so that was always a big discussion we had the last five years internally of how attractive can this e-commerce be because it's double, triple the, the work and, and then less the yield. Um, but I think with the immense volume growth, the immense demand, uh, the data opportunities, we all see how it's really kind of getting together and, and there is a huge opportunity. But for me, it's just getting started now. And I think here can be a key hub for you know, holding big inventory levels, especially for areas which are not as safe as Dubai. I mean, I think yesterday was just announced Dubai, safest place in the world again. Um, so it is a very safe place to store materials. Um, then from here you can distribute and there is a lot of knowledge and experience uh, in the area here. Uh, for example, if I think of Saudi as a consumer market, I think a lot of the, the e-commerce for Saudi will be organized and happening within Saudi, not cross-border, because then you have the cross-border complications. But there is opportunity, there is um, a lot of stuff we can do from here, um, and really a lot of untapped opportunity in mind.